Okay, so this is Windows 10 running on a Raspberry Pi 5 and we've just benefited from a new UEFI boot which is definitely more stable than we've had before. Windows 10 definitely works faster than Windows 11. Still loads of things don't work but we're definitely getting some progress on it. The way this works at the moment is the SD card that's in there is running UEFI boot which enables it to run the operating system from this SSD drive. So you do need two devices to get this to boot. Uh, I've got this plugged through my USB hub at the back here. I've got a USB sound card which works absolutely fine. I've got the white cable which is an Ethernet adapter uh, which is giving me the internet. And uh, I've also got a USB joystick and there's also a, a, an SD card in there as well. Um, so all sorts of things plugged in. And uh, let's just show you how it works. So we have Steam and uh, you can see I've got quite a few games installed on this but actually loads of them don't work. Half-Life I've got running at the moment, so let's call that up and let's just go into the training room. So I'm using this with a trackpad at the moment and as you can see, um, it moves around pretty fast and we are stuck at 1920 by 1080 We can't use a lower resolution, which is a bit of a shame. Let's go with it. Oh, just amazing jumping. So, yeah, actually pretty impressive. Oh, what's duck? Shift? No. Control? Yeah, there you go. I am in stealth mode. But yeah, the, the graphics look pretty decent at 1080. This is obviously a very old game, but we don't have any GPU support, so we really have to pick our games carefully. I don't know if you get to do any shooting in this, or there's all sorts of that. So we've got a jump, and then we've got, which one was duck? That one. There you go. So uh, a few other games I have had working as well. So if we just quit out of that and just show all this working in real time. So, you know, it's back out of that already. Uh, I've got Super Crate Box. I did have Motor Racer working on an older version on Pi 4, but I can't get it to run on this. It says it's, it's missing a DLL file. Uh, Grand Theft Auto wants to be at 640 by 480, which is such a shame because I think that would run uh, quite all right on this. But here we go, so Super Crate Box. Let's just jump into a game. So we've got space to, no. We've got up to jump. And it's not running at full speed. Again, no GPU support. Although you kind of wonder in a 2D game like this, uh, if you would need any GPU support. Oh, I don't know how I managed to get that to work. Let's wait for a few more of these to go and let's finish them off. Or maybe not. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, you can see that's working, not at full speed, but uh, it is working at least. So if we shut down Steam uh, and call up the web browser, and let's have a look for this Raspberry Pi 5 UEFI, and uh, it will take us to the WOR project, and this is the new update. So if we scroll down through, we've got an image of it. Uh, although. So this is a much more basic version than we had on Pi 4. You had loads of different options and, and things to change resolution and things like that. You haven't got any of that on this. There's really very little you can change, no overclocking or anything like that. But the stability with this update has changed massively. So you can see here fixes RP1, USB, DMA corruption issues, boot order not persisting in some cases. It, it definitely is not crashing. Um, and uh, and it's, it's pretty all right to use, really. It's the fastest I've had on the Raspberry Pi with Windows. Obviously, Linux is much quicker. Um, but the features, PCIe support in UEFI and ACPI. So I think what this means is you can use the WOR tool to write the image to an NVMe drive or an SSD drive without using the separate SD card to boot from. Because I already have Windows 10 on this uh, SATA drive, and I've, I've also put loads of things on it and played around with it, I wanted to use this. So all I did was just wrote version 0.3 to the SD card and that's what it boots from. And I don't mind doing that. It doesn't change the functionality or anything. It just means I have to have an SD card present to boot it. Uh, but if we show the web browser, so we go for something like Hot UK Deals uh, and click on that and we can scroll around when that page loads up. You can see the images. It's definitely not as fast as I've shown the Raspberry Pi working with Linux, um, but it's it's pretty good at this early stage. Uh, and if we go for YouTube, and uh, oh, it's calling out one of my videos, Half-Life, let's put on 
4K HDR Lee PSP video and see what it does. There we go, this one here, just to show it running. I've probably not done stats for nerds on this because uh, it hasn't been so great in the past, but we can do that today. So if I right click and stats for nerds, so it doesn't seem to be dropping frames at the moment, but it is running at 240 resolution. But let's go to something like, oh no, it says it's going for 720. It's not there yet. So it's running at 640 by 360 at the moment. Let's click on 720 and see if we can get it to force it. Oh, there you go. And is it significantly dropping frames? It is at the moment. Yeah, okay, so you can see there's no GPU support, so you know don't don't get this operating system for running videos or games in fact, but some older Windows games you are going to get to run on it. If I call up the file system, you can see that everything just, just works as it should here. I've got some drives plugged in and things here, or I don't want to format that drive. Uh, you actually have access to the um, configuration here for booting. I tried booting up without an HDMI cable in to try and force it to do 640 by 480, but whatever I do, it always reverts to 1080, which obviously looks good, and it's gonna be fine for running some programs. Uh, so if I call up, say, Notepad, we can see that that comes up really quickly uh, and, and is working. Obviously, you know, it's, it's certainly not very uh, ambitious, but also there's a paint program in here as well. And uh, again, that launches pretty quick and we can click on something and we can move around. But as you can see, there's a bit of lag there that shouldn't be there. Uh, if we pick this, I guess that's fill, yeah, it is. And then click on that and that works and shut that down. But again, this is, I reckon you're doing this because you either want to play around with Windows or you've got a specific piece of software or maybe even you want to update the firmware on a device that you have and the only program you can have is Windows based. And so it's nice to have that option to just be able to put Windows on an SD card and run it on your Pi for those occasions when you need to run it. Oh, I have got iTunes on here as well and iTunes works. Uh, Amazon Prime Video works, but it is a bit laggy. Netflix is on there, but I haven't got an active account at the moment. Here you go. So if we go to the store and we'll just pick one of the songs that's there and just start playing it. Here we go. Let's go with Justin Timberlake. And then uh, let's just, oh no, I don't want to, oh. I didn't know if he was going to swear then or not, and I don't want to play any music anyway for um, copyright strikes. But as you can see, that's, that's working. This means you could also uh, rip CDs to MP3s and burn CDs with this software. Um, and obviously there's loads of alternatives there as well. And the Windows Store works as well. So if you call up the Windows Store, you can install programs on that. But again, it's more sort of basic programs rather than games or video applications at this stage. You can see that was pretty sluggish, but it does get there. And when you click on something, it does give you the option to just install. And as you can see from this, all the information comes up just as it would on a normal Windows device. Okay, so nice to see some progress on this because it was a while since we've seen an update to the UEFI boot. So at least we know people are still working on this and uh, great work by everybody involved. If you want to install this for yourself, on my channel I have a playlist which I've done loads of Windows videos on Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 5. So if you go into playlists and look for the Windows one, which is here, 60 videos. Let's just pause that. So, so how to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi 5. If you use this video, but with this new UEFI boot, then you'll have more stability. You can do it with Windows 11 or with Windows 10. Uh, you might have to play around with Windows 10 versions because I did find a few that didn't work, but when I found this one that does work, actually it runs pretty well compared to other things I've used. And if you manage to get it all running from one device, let me know in the comments. I think it probably is up and running from that uh, update in the UEFI boot. I just haven't tried it yet because I already had this Windows 10 already prepared from ages ago and I've been playing around with it. And as I say, this UEFI boot has definitely made it more stable. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.